Hi, and welcome back to another event guide for Conan Exiles. Events are now a recurring staple in Conan Exiles, and after the debut of the Sacred Hunt event, we're now seeing the return of the popular bounty hunting event. Kitan Exiled have set up temporary camps in the Exile Lands as well as on the Isle of Sipta. These small NPC camps serve as event hubs where you can complete several activities in exchange for ancient obolus. In addition to that, each camp hosts traders where you can spend the obolus event currency. While we're at it, if you like our Conan Exiles videos, don't hesitate to hit that thumbs up button. We've done quite a few over the years and we appreciate your support. For those who remember the Kitan trade caravans from Age of Sorcery, the new bounty hunting event will be almost the same, with a few tweaks and additional rewards. Let's start with all the camp locations we have found in the Exile Lands and on Sipta. Should we have missed some, please do let us know in the comments. Now, what exactly can you do at these locations? You'll find several traders at each camp and there are multiple things you can spend your obolus on. We'll show you an overview of all rewards in a bit, but first, let's talk about all the activities that will reward you with the event currency. There are three types of activities that can be completed. You can trade in the skull of any sorcerer you have killed, no matter the tier. The skull can be found in the dead sorcerer's inventory once defeated. By interacting with this tribute basin in any camp, you receive some obolus as well as some resources. It's cool to see the skull stacking up visually as well. Expect mostly 5 but sometimes 10 obolus, we'll show you a table shortly. Alternatively, you can return unconscious sorcerers for imprisonment. Instead of killing them, knock them out and drag them to the closest camp to claim a few more obolus. You can bring sorcerers of any tier, there's no difference reward-wise. Once delivered, this will also visually fill up the cages. You will get 50 obolus by doing this. And lastly, you can return the skull of a very powerful sorcerer. These are the mini-boss sorcerers that can be found at Witch Hunt Encounters or within Kurak's Lair. Witch Hunt Encounters are part of the randomly occurring world encounters and rather rare to find. If you want to learn more about the Witch Hunt Encounters, we have created a separate video which explains how they work and where they have a chance to appear in both the Exile Lands and on the Isle of Sipta. Skulls from these powerful sorcerers, or magi skulls as they are called, provide a lot more obolus than regular sorcerer skulls. When returning them at the Tribute Basin, you will receive 100 obolus. While the reward is greater, given how rare these encounters are and that Kurak Slayer takes time and doesn't exist on Sipta, it's likely still not as efficient as just hunting down regular sorcerers. By the way, if you have hoarded skulls from the previous event in your base, then yes, you can turn them in as well. Now back to the rewards. Here's a quick table based on our observations. All three activities provide an assortment of resources as well as Ancient Obolus. The event currency Ancient Obolus can be spent at the Kitan Exile Traders you can find at the various camps. In case you still have some obolus from the previous event, you can spend them here as well. Camps usually have a trader selling supply materials for 20 obolus each. These supply caches give a random number of select resources. If you're short in supply of some of these, it might be worth spending a few coins to easily restock. Next up is a trader that takes 200 obolus in exchange for a selection of named followers. In total, there are 6 different workers and 4 different combatants, and which of these you get is random. While the selection is limited, it's a fairly easy way to secure yourself a few named workers or a good fighter or archer. Now to a trader that offers a whole range of items, including several brand new rewards. Let's first talk about rewards that can be found at each location. There are three new legendary items dedicated to Thrall, or in the case of this event, Sorcerer Hunting. 
There's the Tiger's Truncheon, that costs 500 obelus and helps you knocking out thralls. Then, you can purchase the bindings called Dead Woman's Tresses for 250 obelus. And finally, the Misplaced Guardian's Willbreaker is a 200 hammer that costs 1000 obelus. Furthermore, you can purchase several recipe scrolls, meaning once you've learned the recipe, you'll be able to craft as many of the following items as you want. There are three armor schematics. The first one is for the Mad Prophet Medium Armor, which some of you might remember from the previous event. But this time we get the recipe for the set, and we can also craft an epic version of it. The armor schematic costs 500 obelus. Then there's a schematic for the brand new Kitan Slaver set, also teaching you the regular and epic version of this light armor set. This one costs 2000 obelus. The third schematic is for a unique set of prison shackles called Sundered Manacles. Since it's only for one piece of heavy armor, it's also cheaper at only 50 obelus. In addition to the armor, you can also learn recipes for a few event-themed placeables and two types of fireworks. There's the Tribute Basin for 200 obelus, complete with a stack of skulls in place. The Stygian Slave Vein costs 100 obelus and is rather huge. And a Hardened Steel Cage, also for 100 obelus. Steel cages were until now only craftable when unlocking the recipe in the Tower of the Isle of Septa, so having at least one alternative in the Exile Lands is nice, but why not the whole set? The fireworks can be crafted as blue smoke and red brocade versions, and recipe scrolls cost 100 obelis each. They can be placed as seen here, then interacted with when you want to set them off. Here's the red brocade one in action and the blue smoke version. Now, while all of these rewards can be purchased at any of the Kitan Exiled camps, there are some items that are only available at some. For example, instead of the crafting schematic for the Mad Prophet set, you can also buy the finished pieces for less obelus. Which piece you get depends on which camp you visit. Regular armor pieces cost 50 obelus each and the epic versions 50. Then there are also several unique hardened steel weapons that can be purchased for 100 obelisks each. The Greatsword, Great Axe, Shield, Mace and Spear. Different locations sell different items. We'll have a guide for all locations on our channel, including which Mad Prophet pieces and weapons can be bought where. Now, that's all you can do and unlock throughout the current bounty hunting event. If you found our guide and overview helpful and would like to see more content from us, please don't forget to leave a comment, give us a thumbs up and subscribe.